If you've been following along with my Halo Collar reviews, then you know my track record with testing the fences hasn't been the smoothest ride. But with the new Halo 3 in town and a GPS update to the Halo 2 Plus, it's time to give the fence boundaries and that indoor beacon another shot. And don't forget, the link in the video description will get you the best deal on the Halo 3 Collar. You ready? Let's get to it. My first stop was the local park. I walked the boundary to draw what I would like to call an artistically precise fence. Give me a break on that. The collar is now in the right place, so we're on our way. So here I am, standing on the road, and the location on the phone is pretty spot on with that. So we'll drop that fence post there. I'm gonna just drop a few posts here because there's a bit of a curve to the road. As you can see, it drew a straight line through that. Perhaps one more here. And then we now are approaching the tree where we started. So I'll just go ahead and tap on that initial post to complete the fence. Very good. Pretty darn good with what we did. Not super, super precise because I'm dropping the post manually here. I would like to see those come up automatically, but I would say it's a pretty good fence. Much more in line with my walk than I would see with the two plus in my previous test, that's for sure. Thanks to the new precision GPS and the active GPS antenna, the fence drawing is far and above what I saw before. That said, I'm still waiting for the Halo to auto drop those fence posts for us. Doing it manually is just not as precise, and we're still capped at 20 posts per fence as far as I can tell. All right, so now let's do some boundary testing with the Halo 3, and I've set it up so that the uh, warning feedback, boundary feedback, and emergency feedback are all audible sounds, and I've mic'd up the caller, so hopefully we'll be able to hear them pretty well. So there's the warning, I've stopped. Right to the boundary feedback. I would like to see some distinction there, but not the end of the world. And if we continue, there's the emergency feedback. So it's pretty reliable and I don't see it jumping right to the emergency feedback without any warning, which is nice to see. Perhaps not flawless, but I would say certainly workable. The good news is that I can still consistently get at least one alert before the emergency feedback kicks in. It'll usually even give both the warning and the boundary feedback before the emergency stage, but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes after the warning is issued, I'll stop dead in my tracks and it'll jump straight to the boundary feedback. I'd like to see the halo collar nail down a clear progression. Warning feedback first, then boundary, and finally emergency feedback. Honestly, I've never been a huge fan of the beacons as a keep away tool, but given how much the halo is up their game with the GPS tech, I thought I'd give the new beacon that came with the halo 3 another try. So I've added the new beacon to the app. Let's do it. Still does not shock when you're right near the beacon. So I did get a distinct warning and boundary feedback, but even at a range setting of five, I could get right up to the beacon before getting any response whatsoever. Maybe they're better off as training tools? Not so sure. This is pretty much what I've seen in the past, and it still doesn't seem to offer the emergency feedback. I'm not sure if it's supposed to though. For an even deeper dive into the Halo 3, hit that link in the video description for my full review. All right, so what's the final word? The new Precision GPS and Active GPS antenna have markedly improved this caller's performance. The fence drawing is way more accurate than ever, but the system still has some room for improvement. It's still a bit suboptimal to make fence posts by walking the boundary with manual fence post dropping. And the alert progression from warning feedback to boundary to emergency isn't always as smooth as I'd like, but it's definitely moving in the right direction. I'd hope to see better performance with the beacon. It's not really reliable as a keep away solution in my experience. Beacons may have a future as training tools, but I don't expect them to work miracles. Overall, the Halo 3 is a major step forward from the 2 Plus. Is it perfect? No, but it's improving. And by the way, the 2 Plus has improved as well. Is the Halo 3 worth a shot? I'd say so, with the caveat that you need to keep your expectations in check. If you're gonna buy it, make sure to use the link in the video description below for the best price. And until we meet again, keep those tails wagging.